Sean the Collector with me, Jace. And yes, it's another housing of transit video, but I thought, well, for starters, I've got the T Solidonia here, four of them to show you, and I had to show you these. I'd show you how beautiful they are because I can remember when these sort of the news of these got out out into the the wider audience. People on social media and things like that, they didn't think these were real. I had people messaging me, even though I wasn't keeping trash at the time, asking if these were real. Yes, they are. There's genuine thing, not Photoshop, nothing. Those pictures are what they look like. And I've got four which arrived, so I really wanted to show you those also i've had arrived today on the four again of something which aren't tarantulas or spiders actually but they are really cool so yeah so that's later in the video as well so you might want to see them something a little bit a little bit different also a couple of other surprises today one arrived which was supposed to be one two centimeters it's far from that it's a it really shocked me how big it was also an escapee which i managed to catch on camera as well so yeah so there's a little bit in this video so i thought it'd be a good video to whack out so but i've only got one more order coming in now which is coming next week so yeah i'll see how that one goes i will film it all but i don't know whether i'll do another housing video because this is the third one now really now i want to go from videos i want to do is them from from sling stage now and then they get to sort of juvenile stage and they're, they're, they're much bigger and put them in their bigger homes and so it's a bit easier to see i do apologize if the filming angle is a little bit awkward guys you've got to appreciate it really is difficult for me to get a good angle because i'm having to my priority is getting these things out of the little travel tubes they come in and into their homes and as you see today they can, even though some of these things are only one, two centimetres in size and they're only little babies, they can still catch you out. And when they get on open ground, they can move. Yeah, that's later in the video. Once again, I am in between my two nights. The parcel arrived at 9 a.m. I got in bed at 7 a.m. So I'm very tired. So I do apologise if I'm a little bit distracted and a bit quiet throughout the video. I promise you I'll get better. I suppose really I should just film it and do a voiceover, but I don't like doing voiceovers. I like it to be raw and as it is, as it's happening. So anyway, without further ado, here are the highlights for today's housing of tarantulas. And I've been on the go now doing these for about five hours. So yeah, here we go. I need to get this video done until I can go back to bed for a couple of hours because I've got work again tonight. Right, I'll see you at the end of the video. Okay, everyone. So here I've got some enclosures already set up for the Solidonia. So we've got four of them here to look at. So let's get the first one out. I hope you can see all right. Now, this is the first time I've ever seen this species. All I know is, is that they are incredibly small and incredibly beautiful. So here we go. This is the first one. There it is. Look at that. Can you see that? Is that showing up on the camera? I hope that's showing up, guys. Uh, the next one. What an absolutely stunning little spider, sort of. And there's the next one. Tiny, tiny, tiny little the slings. Look at that, though, but you can tell even at this size how stunningly beautiful these are. They really are absolutely stunningly beautiful. Okay, can I get you to... I really need you to go the other way. That's it. Well done. Okay, there's the last one. There is the last one. Look at that. There we go. All four really healthy. Looking brilliant. T. Saladonia. Brazilian jewel, I think they're called. Fantastic trenches there. Okay, guys, next we are doing the Ornithoctonus Nong. And as you can see in the bottom there, this is not a small spider. And so it might be that they're too too big really for this, this enclosure, but it'll do for now. It'll do for now. Now I'm a little bit wary about getting this out of here because he 
he's as you can see he's quite the sheet is quite big so I'm going to just put that in there so they've got a hole now to, to go into so there we go I know you can't see guys but I've got to be quite careful what I'm doing here because this isn't a, a small sling like the others I don't really want to get bit There. And then if you can see that, if I turn that round, there we go, look at the colours on that. Now I'm hoping, I'm hoping he or she will just go into that burrow that I've made. Come on. I've got a horrible feeling it's just going to bolt in a minute. There we go, straight into the burrow. Brilliant. Made a right bloody mess. Very careful what I'm doing, especially with species I've got no experience with. Um, like a lot of these Asian ones, they're, they're, they're new to me. And, oh, this one's cracking. Okay, well that one's a bit different to the, uh, on the thing really. It quite clearly says that this one's a lot smaller. So, get him in there. There you go. There he is. Brilliant. So we've got one at six to eight centimetres and one at one to two centimetres. So there we go. So I need to find you some slightly smaller food. Everyone, I wanted to show you these. Something a little bit different now. Uh, these are Heterometrus selenus. Now some of you will know that name, I'm sure, because you've probably got them. There we go. Heterometrus selenus. Well, for them. I'm using these little enclosures as well here, which I'm really not a fan of. I think these are way too small, but anyway, we'll see. But yeah, these are a little bit different. Now I'm going to show you why. Hopefully these aren't too big. But these are actually... Where have my tongs gone? Right, as you will see, these are a little bit different from spiders. A little bit different from spiders. And I will show you why. Because I will get one out and put it on my hand to show you. Because Heterometrus salinus, the English name for that is. There we go. Can you see that? These are actually... Asian forest scorpions. There we go. Can you see that? How cool is that? Oh, put him in there. He doesn't want to get off my finger now. Come on, mate. You're going to have to go in your, in your home. Personally, I think these enclosures are way too small. Oh, he's gone straight under that log. Fair play. He's gone straight under that log. Right, okay. So that's one in. And just quickly bought them. And I forgot what I got actually got in my basket. And, I, and then I realised I got these in there. So... Here we go, look, can you see that? How cool are they? These grow to about six inches, I believe, in length. So they get to a good size. I have kept forest scorpions before. They are fantastic animals. Look at that, aren't they just ace? I absolutely love scorpions. Right, in you go, mate. Let's try and get you in there. Guys, next we are doing, I've got two of these Orphaneus Philippinus. Orphaneus Philippinus, a terrestrial species. Obviously from the Philippines, a brand new species to me, this one, guys. Never had these before. Sorry, I know I keep knocking the camera, guys, but it's extremely difficult to, to be unhousing spiders that I've never had before and trying to get a really good camera angle for you guys. Uh, like I said in my previous videos, my priority is always the spider, not the camera. Oh, wow, okay, these are tiny. The beautiful orange spider when they grow, not uh, not something to be... Okay, this goes really fast. There we go.
Okay, I've got him. Okay, I've caught him. One last but by no means least, we have got the Haploclastus devamatha. Haploclastus devamatha. I think that's how you pronounce it, devamatha. Now this is from India, fossorial species, I believe. Certainly terrestrial. This is also known as the LSD earth tiger, I believe. A brand new species to me. I can see him in there now, and he's already made like a hole in here. Looks very, very lively. Stunning species, but apparently from people who keep these, you really don't see much of them. They, they, they burrow, and they, they will try and show it you. Now, I'm trying to see if I can show this on the camera. You won't have any of the colours he gets when he's jawed it there. Can you see that? There he is. I'm going to get him in his heel, the third one. Really are quite, these are really lively. They've all been happily chewing away at their, their packing. Okay, he's gone straight down in his, in his heel. There we go. the Devamath is in. And apart from the two Panamas over there, that's my order from the spider shop. Done! On nights again. Bloody always on nights. Mind you, I do order them for these days, I suppose, so it's my own bloody fault. Okay, okay. I'll feed these and uh, wrap up. So there we have it. There we have it. Superb. Loads, of, as you can see now, one heck of a collection. I think with the order I've got coming next week, I can't remember how many is in that, but that now is 120, 120 slings I've got now. That's it for this video. God, I'm ever so tired. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it and I can't wait to show you, well, I can't wait to show you all these as they grow and they molt and they go for different things. As they get a little bit bigger, I'll do a lot of uh, feeding videos where I probably will probably do like voiceovers on them so I can get, get in with the camera myself, hold the camera myself and get right in close. So yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. I fed all these yesterday. They're all they all seem to be pretty healthy and feeding well. There's only one. There's only one that I couldn't find in the enclosure. But in all fairness, there's some holes in the court bark, and I could see some webs. So I think he's gone in the hole and webbed it up. So, uh, yeah, yeah, we go. Right. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please click the like button. Anything at all, guys? Comment section. You know, anything at all. It's in the comment section. I'd love to hear everyone. And if you're new and haven't done so already, I really would appreciate subscribing to the channel. Guys, I'm whacked. I'm going to go. I'm going to catch you all in the next video. Until then, I hope you have a great weekend. I'm at a festival this weekend with my friend and meet some more mates there. So I don't think I'm going to have a chance to get a video out this weekend. Uh, I need to catch up on my sleep. So probably next week now, in all fairness. And uh, yeah, even the gym's taking, being neglected, which is not on. Don't like neglecting my gym time, but I am doing it at the moment because of everything else I've got going on and work. So. Yeah, right, I'm rabbiting, I'm going. Take care of yourselves. Cheers for watching. I'll catch you soon. Bye.